Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will talk about next generation software web automation testing tool Cypress. Cypress is now, nowadays Cypress is getting more popular than other software automation testing tool. So Cypress has a lot of things simplified. Uh, when we will start our uh, testing using Cypress, you will see how simplified it is. So before starting software automation testing using Cypress, you need to install uh, Cypress on your system. It is little bit tricky, but not that much complicated. I'll show you step by step process how to install Cypress on your system. So let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you step by step process how to do that. Now I am at computer screen. Uh, for Cypress installation, there is one prereq two prerequisite basically. You need to install Node.js and also Visual Studio Code. Those two things needed for Cypress automation testing. If you have any difficulty to installing Node.js and Visual Studio Code, you can check my channel for how to install Node.js on your system. You can check that video in my channel. Uh, so Cypress installation basically uh, is a multiple step needed. First thing you need to create a package folder then you need to run npm init command from the command line then you need to cypress installation then we will open the cypress then create and run a simple test all type of cypress related documentation you will find cypress.io it is their official website you will get all type of instruction from there too so let's create a folder in my desktop you can create your folder any place i am creating my folder in desktop new folder let's say cypress automation cypress automation after creating open that folder so we'll write command from this location so select the address bar then type cmd hit enter it is the command line open for that place so now we need to uh, run the command npm init npm init to create a package so let's go to command from npm init and then hit enter so it is asking uh, package name so package name cypress automation then hit enter so it is asking version keep it as it is hit enter description we don't need that hit enter index entry point index dot js it is okay hit enter test command it is okay git repository it is okay keyword okay it is asking author i'll put the author name test soft ny then hit enter license it is okay hit enter the it is already package is created uh, it is asking is this okay type yes and then hit enter your npm package creation incomplete you can check the cypress automation folder if the package.json file is created so now go for the next point now we need to install npm install save dev as i mentioned all the command and documentation you will find uh, like cypress.io website so cypress.io here is the docs you see it is their official website go to docs then you see getting started uh, is the arrow over here installing cypress you will see all the instruction how to install and everything you will get up over here it is there installation command copy from here or you can type in the command from it doesn't matter so let's go to the command from again edit paste once it is paste hit enter it is a start installing right now it will take some time i believe yes it is done you can check your folder again 
you see there is a node modules everything is created over here now you need to open visual studio code it is my visual studio code so it is cypress automation it is comes up over here So in here, if you expand the node modules, you will see a lot of file, everything over here. So it is, we are in um, Visual Studio code, then go to the command prompt again, clear on the screen. Now you need to open Cypress. So you can check again over here how to open Cypress go to the opening app you will see over here in px cypress open copy that command and also go to the command prompt paste it over here edit paste and hit enter cypress is opening now it is asking Cypress opens. We need to open the test runner. It is asking end-to-end -end testing and component testing. We will go for the end-to-end -end testing. Click over here. So it is by default it is coming. Click continue. It is initializing. Now it is asking which browser you want to run your test. Let's, let's say I'll go by the Chrome. If you need anything, Cypress supports the four browser only. Chrome, Edge, Electron and Firefox. So select Chrome, then start end-to-end -end testing. So create new empty spec. Click over here. You can uh, name your test over here. Let's say I'll put test one, cy.js, create a spec. It is my code. By default, it is coming. We'll modify later on. I'll show you. Okay, run the spec it is running cypress.io website over here so now go to visual studio code click cypress e2e you see test one over here so this website it is navigating we will go for let's say before doing that i'll do one thing Cypress has a autocomplete command. For that, you need to write this thing triple slash, then you need to type reference typs types equal to cypres as a Cypress. It will help you autocomplete for every command writing. So let me delete this thing. Google.com. Now, as soon as you will hit save over here, Control S, you see that is executed. You see the command prompt, it is executing the test. And also, if you see Google Chrome, it is executed your test one with the Google. In previous, it was cypress.io. Also, you can verify over here too. If you do the run all test again, click over here, it is running. It is fast. It is very fast. There is no driver in between that like uh, Selenium has. So here is, you see there is a, looks like a wheel icon. Take the cursor over here it is still element selector basically so let's say we want to select this source box it has the command already automatically written you can copy from here copy to the clipboard go to visual studio code vs code and write paste it over here so that after running after get that element 
type dot over here T Y P E type you see automatic it is coming up type let's say we will search by the test soft NY and then we will hit enter this is our command basically uh, we will go to the google home page then we will search with the test soft NY uh, after writing that command in search box then we will hit enter so it's a very simple like going let's say in selenium um, opening any url you need to initiate a web driver then um, you need to drive her command then you need to navigate to that page then it will open but it's a with a single line single visit it will uh, open your browser let's say as soon as we will hit save over here you see it is a start executing and here is the test you see it starts with the test soft ny and every single step by navigating over here you can see that also you can run the test over here to again run all test you see how fast it is and how it is navigating every single step and screenshot taken over here that's all of this cypress setup is completed and test sample test case it is run successfully that's all about today's tutorial i believe those who are new in software web automation testing using cypress this video will be very helpful for them sir if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video